Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Mark Grayson 77. Thanks for the suggestion, Mark. You ask, why do cars still use 12 volt batteries? Modern cars have touch screens, computers, cameras, sensors, and enough tech to launch a small space program. Yet, they're still powered by a number that sounds like it was picked during the invention of the light bulb. So why hasn't the car world upgraded this tiny but mighty power source? Stay tuned as we explore why cars are still loyal to 12 volts, right here on Explaining Everything. Let's clear this up right away. The 12 volt battery is not what drives your car forward. It doesn't spin the wheels. It doesn't make you go zoom. And it definitely doesn't summon horsepower directly. Its job is to wake the car up. That little battery powers the systems that start the engine and keep everything electronic alive. Things like the starter motor, dashboard, lights, computers, and all the digital brains that tell your car how to be a car. Think of it as the bouncer at a club. It doesn't dance, but nothing happens if it's not doing its job. Now, here's where the confusion comes in. People hear 12 volts and think it sounds tiny and outdated. Meanwhile, your car casually jumps itself with tiny sparks, spins an engine, and lights up like a Christmas tree. That's because voltage is only half the story. What really matters is how much current the battery can send in short bursts, and car batteries can send a lot of it very fast. So the 12 volt system isn't weak, it's just extremely specialized. It's like a sprinter, not a marathon runner. Here's the honest truth. Cars didn't choose 12 volts because it's perfect. They chose it because it worked. And then the entire world simply refused to let go. Early cars originally used 6-volt systems. As engines got bigger and electronics became more demanding, manufacturers doubled it to 12 volts because it was strong enough to handle heavier starting loads without completely redesigning everything. And once that happened, the entire industry locked in. Every supplier, every component maker, every engineer, and every factory lined up behind this one number. Starters were designed for it. Electronics were built around it. Charging systems were tuned for it. By the time anyone thought about changing it again, the global car industry was already hip-deep in 12-volt infrastructure. Changing that number wouldn't just mean swapping a battery. It would mean redesigning huge portions of how cars are built from the ground up. And companies tend to avoid lighting billion-dollar piles of engineering on fire unless they absolutely must. So 12 volts stayed, not because it was flawless, but because it was good enough at exactly the right moment in history. Now here's the part where 12 volts secretly flexes. Lower voltage systems are actually safer to work around. At 12 volts, there's much less risk of dangerous electrical shock compared to higher voltage systems. That makes repairs easier, cheaper, and safer for mechanics and manufacturing workers alike. It also keeps components simpler. Wires don't need extreme insulation. Sensors stay affordable. Electronic modules don't need beast mode protection. Everything stays compact, predictable, and relatively inexpensive. There's also reliability. 12 volt systems handle heat, cold, vibration, water, dust, and time like absolute champions. 
These batteries can sit through freezing winters, boiling summers, years of potholes, and that one time your friend shut your car door using emotions instead of hands. And when something goes wrong, diagnosing a 12-volt system is fast. Voltmeters are simple. Testing is quick. Replacements are everywhere. From rural highways to crowded cities, that little 12-volt battery is always within rescue range. In engineering terms, that's called a perfect sweet spot. Not too weak, not too dangerous, not too expensive, just annoyingly effective. Here's the spicy twist. Modern cars technically don't need to stay on 12 volts forever. The technology exists to move higher. But doing so everywhere would cause a domino effect of redesigns that ripple through every part of the vehicle. Every motor, every control unit, every light, every safety system would need re-engineering. Supply chains would reset. Training would change. Repair shops would need new equipment. The cost wouldn't just go up, it would explode. So instead of ripping the whole system out, engineers quietly upgraded the support systems around the 12-volt battery. Alternators got smarter. Power management improved. Electronics got more efficient. The old voltage stayed, but everything feeding it evolved. It's not that the industry refuses to move forward. It's that moving forward, in this case, doesn't create enough benefit to justify the earthquake it would cause. Which is hilarious, because the most futuristic thing in your car is still being supervised by a number chosen when people wore top hats unironically. That little battery under your hood may seem humble, but it's responsible for waking your entire car up, powering its brain, and starting the mechanical chaos that gets you moving every single day. It's not flashy. It's not trending. It doesn't care about your feelings. It just shows up and does the job. In a world obsessed with upgrades, Sometimes the most impressive thing is the tech that never needed one. If you learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe check on yours now. You might be running out. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.